Hello dear students, how are you all? I wish and pray that you all remain in good health always. Students, out of many interesting activities that we all are doing at home, one activity is common and that is relishing and eating yummy food made by our mother or any other family member. Isn't it? This reminds me of one of the incidents. When I was young, I was of your age. It was my mom's birthday. And that day, I thought I should surprise her. So when she was out for buying something, I quickly went into the kitchen and somehow I managed to collect all the ingredients for making a yummy dish called upma because it was my mother's favorite. So one by one, according to the recipe, I started putting the ingredients in the vessel. And when it was set to cook, I placed a lid on it and there was some time till then the dish is ready. So I thought I should use this time for the decoration work. So I went in other room and I started doing the decoration work. I got so engaged in the decoration part that I almost forgot that I have kept something on the stove and the stove was on. I rushed in the kitchen and I saw what the upma, my dish, it was burnt. It was not suitable to present someone on their birthday. So I thought this will not be a good surprise. I kept it aside and my mother was back. I gave her a greeting card in which I have written happy birthday and sorry. Still, she tried my upma and she appreciated me for the try that I have given. Because whenever we try things, it is not necessary that the first attempt is successful. We have to keep trying and one day we succeed. So with this positive note, let us start a new lesson in English, which I have written on the board. A disastrous dinner. Disastrous? What do you think this word is disastrous? Mm, we will find it out. Okay? I want you to look at these pictures, students. There are some pictures. See, look at this character. Where is she standing, students? Can you tell me? Correct. She is standing in a kitchen. And look at the instruments and the vessels. Look at the settings. Is it of this time? No. This tells us that this is a story of old time. The next picture on page number 38. We can see here that a family is sitting together. Where? Yes, in the dining room and they are having their food together. What else can you see here? There are certain things kept on the dining table. There is food, there are spoons. Right? Come to the next page, page number 39. Here the scene has changed. Right? That means there is something really interesting about the story. Before we start reading the story, I want to tell you something about the writer and a little part of the story. So this is a story of four sisters and they are in a situation where their mother is not around. And so there are certain things that they have to fix. Before reading the story, we will learn a little bit about the writer. Students, a disastrous dinner. This is an extract, a small part of a famous novel. The name of the novel is Little Women. This novel, Little Women, is written by Louisa May Alcott. She is a very famous American writer. 
she has written this a disastrous dinner and this became so popular this novel became so famous and so interesting that she was given the name children's friend her nickname became children's friend and with this success of this book she also wrote a sequel to little women and the name of the sequel was little men and then one more book was written with the same topic it was called joe's boys so you can read these books if you wish so now you know that you're going to read a very interesting piece right so we will wait for the reading part before beginning our reading we will do a quick warm up you can see i have written some words on the board i will read it for you boil great need whisk spread sprinkle stir and mash what do you think these words or verbs are related to correct cooking skills cooking skills or culinary skills you have a warmer in your oxford textbook when you come to page number 36 you can see here here there is a warmer where there is an activity you have to match the actions which are shown with the words written in the bracket i hope you know all of them in case you don't know them you should go to your mother or take help of someone to see what it is you can even watch them doing this because these things are done in a kitchen almost every day if you wish you can also try doing it like sprinkling spreading you can take a bread and spread jam on it kneading you can watch your mother kneading dough for uh, uh, making chapatis and etc if you wish please try them do it and i'm sure you will enjoy doing it so we will meet in the next video now where we will be beginning to read the chapter till then please take good care of yourself students